Hi, hello guys, and welcome to this month's Love Terrascopes with the Angels. And it is the month of February, and it's the month of love, um, all kinds of love, and romance, and the hearts, and unity, unison of love, universal love, just love. Love is everything, and um, so I want to bring you um, the messages that that are for you for this month, and um, let's make this month a loving one, a sensual one, a caring one, a divine one. Just get connected to your heart side, to your heart chakra, to your sensual side. So as always, I want to start with Aries. And then I'm going to work my way down to Pisces. So let's see what this is for Aries for the month of February. And here you got body care. And what I'm getting from this card for you, Aries, is that some of the issues that you might be going through have to do with how you feel. And your feelings are a result of how you feel with your body. And you know what you're doing with your body so maybe your body is telling you hey pay attention to me I want to feel good too and if the body feels good then you feel good it kind of changes your mood and it affects your love life so um, and if it also relates to sensuality and sexuality so if you feel like you need to connect to it and you're afraid uh, maybe you're over conscience of your body, maybe you feel like you need more attention to your body, then go ahead and, and do it. Um, give yourself that attention. And if you have a partner, let them know that, you know, you want more passion and that you want to connect more to your physical needs. Um, but whatever you do this month, don't neglect your physical needs, um, your body care, and knowing that sometimes the way you feel on the outside really reflects how you feel sometimes on the inside. So spice it up a bit, Aries. I know that you're very passionate, so do what you can do to deal with this. And I think the more confident you feel, you'll create the love and the attraction and that connection that you are dreaming about, that you're fantasizing about. So keep that in mind, okay, Aries? And that's, of course, for Aries in a relationship or single Aries. Just connect to your body. Do what you have to do this month to awaken um, your sensual side and don't be afraid. So let's see what it says um, for the next sign. <laughs> and that is um, Taurus. So let's see, Taurus. Okay, you have blessings. So for this month of February, um, basically you could say that new doors open for your love life and if you're in a relationship, this could signify, um, you know, even pregnancy to engagement to just feeling overwhelmed with gratitude with the relationship that you have and realizing that you guys... Um, survive, that you guys are filled with lots of love. Now for single Taurus, this means that um, you are ready to embrace what life has to give you instead of waiting for that perfect moment. Um, realize that the perfect moment is now. So now that you're feeling kind of blessed and lucky, um, be open to meeting new people. Okay, so remember, February is filled with blessings. So take chances this month. Taurus. Allow your heart to open up even more. And the next sign is Gemini. So let's see what it says for our dear Gemini. Ooh. <laughs> Gemini, you have um, romance. You received romance. And of course we want romance for everyone. Now, for you, it just means that if you're single, go ahead and mingle, you know, connect to your romantic side. Um, don't hold back if you think, oh, this person won't understand me, or who do I think I am? No, no, no. Get the negative talk out of your mind and connect to your romantic feelings, 
your romantic ideas, your romantic fantasies, all of that, just bring it out. And it could be just with yourself, being romantic with yourself, dressing more romantic, being sensual. Now, if you're in a partnership, in a relationship, you know, maybe you've um, forgotten that, you know, romance is part of this union. In other words, like, romance always needs to kind of be taken care of. It's like a flower. It needs attention. So put attention to romance. You know, where are your partner's needs? Um, is your partner um, maybe um, asking for more, asking for less? Either way, just clue in in what your partner feels and what you feel and make time for play. Forget about the seriousness and get in touch with romance, okay? And the next sign <laughs> is Cancer. Ooh, we have children. So, now if you're single, you know, don't freak out. Um, if you're single, this basically means that it's time to be playful and very playful. And, you know, being playful and, and flirting and connecting to your childlike um, spirit just means that you're going to be happy and you're going to express it, that you're not afraid of your joy, of your smile, of who you are, and you're you're not afraid of igniting um, a light between you and another person. So definitely, um, Cancer, this is a month where you um, maybe get out more of your comfort zone and realize that I need to bring back this juice, this light in my life, and I need to stop taking things seriously as well. And now, if you're in a relationship, um, this also means that it's time to connect to issues that have to do with children. Um, maybe you're trying to have a child. Maybe you're thinking about it. So, for the month of February, you know, if you're in a relationship, bring it up. You know, let your partner know that this is important for you. Now, this could also mean that if you are in a relationship, that you need to lay back a little bit, like release some of the stress and don't always um, focus on the harshness that's going on in the relationship. And I think that's something that is strong for all signs. And it's a message that, you know, we have to stop taking things so serious and realize that we could make things better if we just feel like lightness, like love. Love is very light. It's a very light feeling. So connect with that this month, okay, Cancer? And the next sign is Leo. And you have balance. All right, Leo. I know you're looking for love because Leo always wants love. But here in the month of February, your angel's saying that you have to balance yourself. In other words, you know, your dreams could become a reality, but maybe you're too much in the clouds. So if you're going to be fantasizing, if you're going to be desiring, match it up with an action. So for every time that you're desiring someone or something, do something about it. Create an action. Make a step. So that way you could balance it out and you're not necessarily in the clouds, but you're also grounded. You know what you need to do in your love life. And I also feel you're going to go through a lot of changes in your life in general, so you're going to have to balance your changes with your desire for love. Now, if you're in a relationship, Leo, it just means that, you know, don't overlook your partner. Your partner also wants to be important in your life. So just make the time. And don't feel guilty. Don't feel overwhelmed. But they also want your attention. Because Ari, I mean, sorry, <laughs> Leo, I'm thinking of Aries, Leo tends to be very intense. So, um, sometimes your partner will miss that intensity of yours. So, you know, give them your attention for this month, okay, Leo? Balance is the key. So, the next sign is Virgo. 
in here, Virgo, you receive truth and integrity. So with this card, if you're single, this really means that you need to connect to the truth of your feelings and what you want and what you're getting because all of it is different. And because of that, you tend to stick to what you feel and forget about what you want and what you're getting. So for this month, really try to focus that it's going to be a month where you actually want more of what you desire and and you're not just going to accept anything you're going to accept the truth you're going to accept that you deserve love respect romance that you're worthy of this and that you're not going to wait for it anymore now if you're in a relationship it just means that you need to um, connect to the truth in your relationship don't overanalyze don't focus too much on, on the shadowy part but you need to realize that certain changes need to take place and um, with this card again focus on yourself and know that the cherubs are with you I don't know if you could see but this picture there's cherubs surrounding this um, angel so know that you could rely on the cherubs on the angels of romance to help you in your love life during the month of February. So any kind of concern, let them know. And they'll help you. Okay? And the next sign is Libra. Libra, you received emerging. So emerging, um, you're definitely coming out as far as like you're realizing that there's parts of you that you don't no longer need so this has to do with yourself so you're going through transformation so that's going to affect um, your love life so if you're single you're going to realize that you need a different kind of partner you're no longer interested in the same kind of people that you have been interested in um, you're actually looking for a deeper connection and maybe you felt like you neglected your um, sensual side and whatnot. So now you're looking to fulfill that. And if you are in a relationship, then it just means that you have a new appreciation for your relationship and for who you are. So it's kind of like you're counting your blessings and um, you're letting yourself come back to life again. So it's, that's very nice. It's almost like springtime for you um, for the month of February and your love life. So the next sign is Scorpio. And here you got self-acceptance. So Scorpio, you tend to be very intense. And sometimes you overanalyze as well and you try to control things. Now, self-acceptance just means that you need to just focus on what you've been neglecting of yourself like have you been loving yourself you need to love yourself this month is a month of love of opening your heart so stop closing it in open your heart Scorpio and love yourself accept yourself tell yourself this I am perfectly imperfect or I am imperfectly perfect should I say yes I am imperfectly perfect now if you're in a relationship Again, you have to love yourself because the less you love yourself, even within this relationship, you create drama that's not necessary. So try to self-accept yourself and self-love yourself, and then you could truly embrace another person and the relationship for what it is. So spread your wings for this month and your heart. Okay, don't get into your darkness this month. It's about getting into the light with your love, with your self-love. And the next sign is Sagittarius. And you receive music. So with music, I feel that you need to energize yourself, um, Sagittarius. You need to really um, surround yourself with positive things, with music, um, you know, spend time doing things that you enjoy, listening to music, um, honoring your sensual music within you, you know, your your soul. And if you're in a relationship, you know, spend time 
doing things that you enjoy with your partner and maybe this is going to concerts maybe it's serenading them maybe it's you know realizing that you both can create your own sweet music together um you know making love um definitely connecting to this high energy because music is very high energy and it penetrates you so for february allow um this feeling to take over you and again relax with it enjoy yourself enjoy yourself and enjoy love and others if you're single then share more of yourself and you'll meet the right person okay and the next sign is Capricorn and you receive meditation so even though it's a very uh, romantic month for everyone Capricorn you have to take some time for yourself and that's because you're intoxicated yourself with your own emotions you're very emotional so because of that you might not enjoy what you're receiving you might be blocking it so meditation is going to help you realize oh my god I'm blocking myself so meditate take it easy this month does that mean you cannot enjoy yourself that just means that you have to take it easy and not rush into things and if you are in a relationship you know maybe meditating with your partner doing something sacred something spiritual together for example you could take a bath together with your partner um, honoring each other's I guess tranquility peacefulness that's what you need with your partner and again if you're single um, you need to first deal with your emotions before you step out again into the dating scene it does not mean that you don't deserve someone new you do but you deserve this time for yourself and then you'll feel even better and you'll know that you deserve someone better as well so let's see what the next sign is Aquarius okay Aquarius you have miracles so Aquarius if you're single definitely this is a month where you could hit the jackpot and meet someone that's worthy someone that brights up your eyes um, and if you're asking for a miracle in your love life definitely do it this month because it will be answered and if you're in a relationship um, focus on what you would wish to improve what what would brighten up your relationship and then ask the angels for that and trust trust and believe in miracles um, be open to it and maybe share share more of your beliefs more of your spirit with your partner um, that's what I'm also getting with this card and create miracles together as 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 a partnership not just you yourself in other words share the light with him or her and um, expand it so take advantage of this month and just pray and ask for a miracle okay Aquarius and last but not least it's Pisces and here it says divine timing so Pisces if you're single the angels know that you deserve someone and they're working on your behalf so it's gonna be it's gonna take a little time for you to meet this person but it's divine timing in other words it's almost destiny you could say but you have to kind of wait there's a timing to it so just trust that you will meet this new person it might not be for this month but don't overwhelm yourself that you have to have things now no because in divine timing and the perfect timing this person will come into your life and I know it's this year okay so enjoy yourself as much as you can and trust in divine timing trust that this person will come to you in the right moment when you need them when it should happen if you are in a relationship and you're feeling like you wish things could grow faster maybe you want to get married maybe you want to get engaged maybe you want to make big steps again divine timing everything will fall into place you just have to trust 
trust that your relationship is faded as well. In other words, you met for a reason, and everything is going to fall into place. So trust in the angels, trust in the universe, trust in God, that they will provide the answer that you need for your relationship, all in divine timing. So that's very beautiful. So thank you, everyone, for joining me. I hope that I gave you real good answers for your love life this month and know that you can manifest love and love is a beautiful thing try to connect with it on a higher sense and when I say higher sense I mean allow it to give your heart wings because that's what love does it gives your heart wings it makes you feel like you're endless like you're just you know in heaven that is love and I know you know relationships are not easy but focus on your blessings doesn't matter if you're single or not focus on your blessings and you know what to do so honor your feelings you know be grateful for what you have and just trust and communication okay guys um, love you and sending you guys lots of love and great opportunities for your love life and many blessings for you guys. Enjoy the loving month of February.